Next what we are going to discuss is surfactant and its mechanism of action. These are type 1 pneumocytes, these are the type 2 pneumocytes. Normally the alveoli have layer of water inside it. This creates the surface tension and hence the normal elastic recoil of alveoli is to collapse. The surface tension is directed inside. Now to prevent this collapse of alveoli type 2 pneumocytes release what is called as surfactant right to prevent collapsing of alveoli it decreases surface tension okay so the natural elastic recoil of alveoli is to collapse and its vector force is in the inward direction now the normal tendency of the chest wall is to expand that means the normal tendency of pleural cavity is to expand so the force vector is in this direction so both are opposite in direction elastic recoil of the alveoli and elastic recoil of the chest wall that creates the negative intrapleural pressure next is lung compliance what is lung compliance it is the index of effort required to expand the lung the normal tendency of the alveoli is to collapse the elastic recoil is inside right so if there is a condition which pushes the alveoli and encourages it to collapse down it will make more effort that means the lung will be less compliant like in fibrosis here it cannot expand if there is pulmonary congestion right if there are blood filled capillaries here if there is decreased surfactant there will be no lessening of the surface tension and there will be more elastic recoil of the alveoli then you say the lung is less compliant what is more compliant when there is dilatation of alveoli right there is already dilatation of alveoli and the elastic recoil of the alveoli decreases that happens in COPD especially the emphysema pulmonary surfactant is secreted by type 2 pneumocyte clara cells are present especially in the bronchioles exclusively in the bronchioles and it secretes a substance similar to pulmonary surfactant which protects the bronchial epithelial cells the mechanism of action of surfactant is breaks the structure of water and it prevents the elastic recoil. Normal intrapleural pressure is negative because alveoli wants to collapse inside and pleural cavity wants to expand. Pulmonary compliance is decreased in all of the following except it's in COPD the pulmonary compliance increases because there is dilatation of alveoli and there is less elastic recoil. 